Three years ago, my best friend Ollie and I decided to build an algorithm that would predict the outcome of football matches. In this video, I'll share the full story about how it works and our results over the last 10,000 games. Some of the results might surprise you, but first, let's go back to 2021 and where it all began. Ollie and I are both lifelong football fans and we were obsessed with football data and technology. And that year, with the world still on its knees post-COVID, we discovered a website called 538. This site was founded by a professional poker player and statistician, Nate Silver, who managed to correctly predict the results of the primaries and the presidential winner in 49 states ahead of the 2008 presidential election. 538 was always focused on American sports and politics, but we were interested in a page called Club Soccer Predictions. If these professional statisticians and maths PhDs could correctly predict football games using machine learning, then what's stopping two lads from Blackpool doing the same thing? Actually, don't answer that. So how does it actually work? Well, Ollie's the brains behind the operation. The man with the development background, the man with the really cool keyboard, the man with the nice hair, the sniveling little nerd. All right, he's the smart one, and I'm not bitter about it. He wrote the first predictions algorithm in August 2021, and how this works is actually really cool. For those unfamiliar with machine learning, I'll give you a very oversimplified explanation. He essentially asked his computer to look at every single data point it could find over tens of thousands of matches that had already happened. He can then ask the computer to predict the outcome of those games that have already happened and spot any trends in the data or patterns that a human wouldn't be able to see. After what's called training the model, he could then use it to predict the outcome of a football game that hadn't happened yet. And this is going to take into account some of those trends and patterns that a human being could never spot. Hidden in the minutiae is where we find an edge. It's where we find those subtleties and second and third effects. It might be that this referee tends to give out more cards in a stadium that has over 60k capacity and that affects the outcome of his games by a couple of percentage points. The the point is, we now had a model that could predict the outcome of football games better than we could, and this is where it gets interesting. In our first half season, which was the 21-22 season, 538 correctly predicted the outcome of the game 52% of the time to our 50.9%. And in that first year, our best performing league was the Champions League at 62.3%. Not bad. Our worst was the Allsven scan, which is the top Swedish league, coming in at 51.4%. And I know what some of you are thinking, 50%, well I could just flip a coin, mate. But a football match has three outcomes. The draw is like the zero or the green in roulette, always catches you out when you least expect it. The point being, 50.9% is already an edge, but we wanted more. In our first full season, 22-23, we topped the charts coming in at 51.5%. That's 3,466 games correctly predicted out of a total of 6,727. Now, we've never been big gamblers, but at this point, users were coming to the website and subscribing and asking for more and more leagues. And those that were willing to pay for this data were mostly those that knew they were going to get a return on their investment. And at the end of the 2022-23 season, 538 announced their club soccer predictions were no longer going to be updated. And so we ramped up our website, we gave it a facelift and I went full time on it. And for the 23-24 season, we hit 52% accuracy rate with the Nations League at 75% being our best competition. So at this point, you're probably wondering how this season's going. Well, our best performing league so far this season is actually the AFCON qualifiers coming in at 63.9%. And if you wanna know which ones to avoid, the USL Championship at 31.2% is our lowest performing league. But we're always improving the product. And the beauty of machine learning is that once a game finishes, it goes back into the data set and the model gets that little bit better. It's constantly learning. And so are we. Let us know in the comments if there's any new leagues or features that you'd like to see on Numbers Game. And if you've not already, make sure you check out numbersgame.uk.